This is the video that I wanted to do it for a very while now. It's a little out there to talk about it, but it's still this free. And so we go, it's like February 6th. I recorded this on Football Saturday. So, say this week we got that's been hyped up since the Royal Rumble pay per view. That is the Stone Cold The All Star Podcast with the guest, with the host, and his guest is the CEO WWE Twitter. Um, this was never gonna be like the awesome and mental. Well, Triple H said a lot of things that we aspire believe that. So, yeah, let's talk about Austin. Talk about uh, the Royal Rumble. And that K Fay is dead. That people know more of the business. Blah 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 blah. Oh shit. And Triple H said some things that we encouraged by. He said he wanted Wall to be two hours because. Because. Because to write. Because when once we are when you watch show, it's very hard. Yes, it is very fucking hard to write a three-hour show. So, yeah, very stressful triple play. And then he speaks of uh, CM Punk. About how he never had a problem, even though the play had a problem. I, 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 I don't really know what's going on there. So, yeah. And then we get to the shyness stuff. <laughs> oh boy. So, the, and one of the reasons. Why Triple H said this? Triple H said one of the reasons why Shia would probably never be a Hall of Fame is Triple H said that his eight-year-old daughter would never allow him to watch this stuff. So poor, so I can be so. Or, but I say something. Doing a bit for I was for I try to keep in in the regular in this form huge so yeah anyway no faster no as age old honor listen to say that this that I do not believe this. Here's the reason why Shia would never be in the WWE Hall of Fame. Probably. It's because of Stephanie McMahon. It has been happy there. Shia has to be with Triple A. This thing has gone on for like fucking what? 15 years? Fucking 15 years. And you wonder why there was some videos on YouTube where shining that crap on Stephanie and that she is bad for business. It's because of bullshit like this. Definitely recently, uh, for Shine and Nabi in the whole face, it is not true. It is not true at all. So, yeah, but this is another thing about The Undertaker, um, um, 
You kind of felt bitter about it. You can really tell from the news. Okay. He feel like he was torn on it. Like it was a good move, bad move. You can tell Triple H was really torn off it. So yeah. Another thing that he said. Um, then another thing, uh, he's talking about what why he wanted World to be two hours. Uh, um, about Royal Rumble controversy, CM Punk, uh, China, all that shit. Then he talked. Then he talked about um. Then well, that was actually it for me. I did remember some stuff, but I did remember some stuff about it. So it was a decent part. It was some. Uh, this is go podcast. There could be a business level. So we see a problem level. It's still this good. And also it's a hell of a tater. And he has a great and his podcast is it's great. It's on. So yeah. So uh, and it's been great advertising to get people more with. To the WWE never for nine no, or this but it's a free yay. But uh yeah, so yeah that's it. So probably decided all like comment subscribe peace I'm out.